Joining me now is Dr. Lale Garabagian. She is with Stanford Healthcare, the Medical Director of Adult Emergency Medicine. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Talking a little bit about COVID and this new study about the Johnson and Johnson vaccine. Everybody's been talking about boosters when it comes to the Pfizer vaccine now being authorized. What are we looking at when it comes to basically a double dose of the J&J? The, the Johnson and Johnson study was an interesting one. First, they took a look at all of their data up until July of this year, which includes the Delta variant, but also others, and showed an effectiveness rate of about 80% against serious illness. The other thing that they showed is that a two dose vaccine or a booster shot at this point increased that effectiveness to 94% against serious illness, which pretty much matches the Pfizer and Moderna effectiveness. And the other thing, the interesting thing that they found is that if the booster is given at six months, as opposed to two months, the antibody levels in a person's body is actually increased and thus may offer even more and better protection. Why do you think that is? Well, I think because the initial vaccine already develops antibodies uh, in our system. And so they don't decline at a rapid rate. And so when you have an increase in that antibody level and a vaccine at a later time, then you increase that antibody level later. So I'm not surprised to actually see those results. Okay. We have a lot of antibodies going on around California, one of the lowest transmission rates in the country, if not the lowest. How did we get to this point? So I think that we are in a very good state, actually, in California. First of all, our vaccination rate is pretty good. At least 70% of our population has at least one shot. We also have increased masking, whether that's by mandate or by choice. And there's also implementation of various vaccine mandates at different businesses and schools and universities. And there's also more requirements of either proof of vaccine or proof of weekly testing of negative in order to enter certain establishments. So all of that come together has California in a really good spot. Okay, well, we're proud to be here. Speaking of masking, uh, there's been a lot of talk about it throughout the pandemic, people having to do it, people not wanting to do it. And then you have a variety of people in one room. Say nobody has a mask on except for you. Are you protected at that point? Is there even a point in wearing one? Yes, you are absolutely protected. And that's been proven by several studies and also various analyses of various COVID outbreaks that showed that the person who wore the mask was far more protected than anyone around them who didn't wear a mask. And also N95s and surgical masks are far better than cloth masks. Um, that's another thing that has come out recently, which is also no surprise. But to answer your question, yes, 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 masks not only protect others, but they absolutely protect you. That's why us healthcare workers, whenever we go into a patient's room with even a little bit of a cough or cold, we wear a mask to protect ourselves. Okay. The flu season, of course, that's uh, coming next. What do you expect? Um, a lot of concerns that it's really going to exacerbate the situation. So flu season, we typically think about it as the winter months and not only the flu virus. Now we have COVID, but there's also other viruses like rhinovirus and RSV. We're already seeing rhinovirus and RSV far earlier, a couple months earlier than expected and far higher in prevalence than expected. And without everybody getting the flu shot and the COVID shot, then we will anticipate a higher flu and COVID rate for those winter months as well. And there's a variety of reasons for this. First of all, kids are back in school. Um, and despite adequate preparations and measures and masking, those viruses can still get around. Um, the other thing is that people are tired of the restrictions. Some of them are cutting corners. The holidays are coming and approaching, which means holiday gatherings are coming. Cold weather will bring more people indoors, all of which will increase the risk of all of these viruses spreading. That's why it happens in the wintertime more than any other time. 
And so I encourage everybody to get your flu shot, to get your COVID shot if you haven't already, wear masks, social distance, be safe, be smart. Very good advice, Doctor. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much.